In the Airtrack lab, we learned about inelastic collisions. Remember, we had a moving car that hit a stationary car, and after the collision they both traveled together as one. Even though mechanical energy was not conserved, the momentum in a closed system is. So we had P initial equal to P final. In our experiment, we drop an initially motionless aluminum bar onto the rotating turntable. And after the collision, both the bar and the turntable rotate at a common angular velocity. Because it's a closed system, the initial angular momentum equals the final angular momentum. Now initially, the only angular momentum is due to the rotating disk. So we have L initial equal to I disk times omega naught, the initial angular velocity. After the bar has been dropped, bar and disk now rotate as one, so they have a common combined moment of inertia, I disk plus I bar, and they rotate at a new slower angular velocity, omega one. In part one of the experiment, we learned how to measure angular velocities. So we will use this skill to verify angular momentum conservation for the bar drop.